Today we're going to learn about fish. Sing the song Fish in the Ocean and do a fish craft. Hello everyone, my name is Anne Richmond. I'm the author of this book Charisma and the Berry Boat. Today at Charisma Readers Time, it's theme time. what we already learned about vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals can be divided into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone inside their body, just like us. Backbones support vertebrates in their structure. Vertebrates have nervous system that controls everything, including walking, thinking, feeling, and breathing. Vertebrates have endoskeleton, that means a skeleton inside the body. Human is also a vertebrate. Vertebrates have muscles that are attached to the skeleton that enables the movements. All vertebrates reproduce by mating between males and females to bring babies, ducklings, chicks, and so on. Invertebrates don't have a backbone. Invertebrates have hydrostatic skeletons, which is made of fluid like the earthworm, starfish, and jellyfish. Or they have exoskeleton, that's hard shell or case covering their body like crabs and snails. Vertebrates are further classified into five classes. We already learned about birds and mammals. Today, we are going to learn about fish. Fish are vertebrates that live in water and have gills, scales, and fins on their body. Fish have been on earth for over 500 million years, long before even the dinosaurs. They have been on earth longer than any other kind of vertebrate. Fish make up the largest group of vertebrates. Fish have spines and skeleton that is surrounded by cartilage and bones. Some live in salt water and others live in fresh water. They live in streams, ponds, rivers and oceans. Fish have fins used for moving, steering, and braking. Fish are cold-blooded. Cold-blooded vertebrates body temperature drops when the temperature outside drops. Warm-blooded animals such as mammals and birds can maintain their body temperature even if the temperature outside is cold. Since fish are cold-blooded like the alligators and frogs, many fish are extremely sensitive to the temperature changes and are only able to live in specific water temperature. Fish have good sense of sight, touch and taste. Fish have gills that allow them to breathe underwater. All fish have gills to filter oxygen from the water environment. Fish have scales. Scales are hard, thin, overlapping plates that cover their skin. Most fish have a swim bladder filled with air that helps them not to sink or float too much. Fish come in different sizes. The largest fish is the great whale shark, which can reach 50 feet in length. Fish mostly reproduce by laying a large number of small eggs that are fertilized and scattered outside of the body. 
The seahorse is the only species in which the male gives birth. Let's sing the song Fish in the Ocean. Kingfish, kingfish, swimming in the ocean. Kingfish, kingfish, where is your crown? Clownfish, clownfish, swimming in the ocean. Clownfish, clownfish, where is your nose? I'm going to show you how you can make a fish bowl craft. I have a dark blue sheet of paper here. I'm going to trace this big plate on the sheet. So from here to here. Here I'm going to draw a line just about there. And from this corner, I'm going to curve it. And from this corner as well. Just like this line at the top, I'm going to draw a line at the bottom, but a little bit thinner than this one. And I'm going to curve this and here as well. Now I'm going to take another plate, a little bit smaller than this one. And I'm going to put it like that and trace it in the middle. Now I'm going to fold it into half and cut the middle part out. Now I'm going to cut along the outline. Put two sheets together and cut like that so I get two of them. Now I'm going to take the light blue sheet of paper, trace this plate again. This is going to be the water inside the bowl. So I'm going to make the water up until here. I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to trim this a little bit because I don't want it showing beyond the bowl. So just a little bit. I'm going to draw a fish. First, I'm going to draw an oval shape. I'm going to draw a tail and a fin up here and one over here. Here and a mouth just like that. Draw a small eye, cut that out, glue the eye, draw the eyeball. Now I'm going to cut the fish out. I have some jewel stickers here. If you don't have these, you can use sequins or hole punch some different color paper and glue them.
I'm going to make an oxygen machine shaped in a clam shell. I'm going to trace this small container. I'm going to draw a line here and then take this in like that and then out. Now I'm going to curve the lines like that and another outline like that and here again same thing on the top I'm going to erase the extra lines now I'm going to outline it with marker Here I'm going to draw a small pearl. That's going to be where the oxygen's going to come out from. Glue the pearl. And I'm going to cut this out. Now I'm going to draw a sea plant decoration. And cut it out. And an orange coral reef decoration. Cut that out. I'm going to place it like that so I know where to glue these small stuff. Just a little in like that. Now glue the fish. Now I'm going to take the silver jewel stickers and use it for the oxygen bubbles. I cut this out from a plastic bag. I'm going to cut it out just a little bigger than the inside. So I'm going to just draw it like that. So I'm going to cut that out now. Now I'm going to put glue on one of these. Put the plastic on top. Now put glue again on top. And place this Next, now take this one, flip it, and put glue on it. And take it, glue it right on top of all of that. You can leave it as a craft like that, you can hang it or place it on a table like that. I'm going to glue it on my scrapbook. There, we have our fishbowl craft. Next week is music time. We will be learning the notes E, F and G in treble clef, play a song on the xylophone, sing a new ice cream song and make an ice cream craft. Until then, goodbye everyone, I'm glad we had some fun. It's end of a circle time, see you next time. Bye everyone! New
videos are posted every Monday on Charisma Reader Circle Time. First Monday of the month is Music Time, second Monday is Theme Time, third Monday is Music Time again, and fourth is Around the World Time. Please subscribe to follow all of them in the right sequence. Kindly like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.